Hi, this is Sani and welcome to the interview teacher's guide video, fourth video. Wherever you are or whatever what time you're watching this video, I hope you're just fine. The last time you watched about the basic rules and saw preparation before an interview. So this time I'm going to show the stages of an interview. So if you are ready, let's start. Now, this is the first part or the first stage. It is first impression. Do you know what? They said that the first impression could be the last impression, which is somehow true. So by the time you enter into an interview room, your interviewer is actually checking you already. And mind you, that could be 50% okay for the whole interview so you gotta be careful now what are the things that you have to consider on this part all right first on how you greet okay remember you are in an interview so you have to act professional by the time you enter into a room you have to give a firm shake hand to your interview of course, you wear a big smile on your face, but do not laugh, of course, okay? Be discreet, all right. This is to show that you are friendly, you are relaxed. Aside from this, you have to know how to handle small talk. Well, anyway, you always do that, right? So with this one, it's just like, you just need to be careful again. They are not your friends, though this is a small talk, you have to act professionally, okay? Make your answers brief, not too long, because you're not going to tell or read a story to them. Now, the next thing that you have to consider is your gesture. As I told you, by the time you enter into an interview room, you have to give a firm handshake to the interviewer, okay? But it's not only that. The way how you sit, you have to take it. No, I mean, you have to sit properly, all right? And of course, with your dress. Well, anyway, in the next videos, we're going to show you some videos, okay? Movie clips or pictures. Um, just to show you what could be the proper dress or have the proper clothes if you're going to go in an interview. All right, so that's the first one, impression. The next part is the discussion of background and education. At this point of time, your interviewer is already asking you questions. Now, Background and education. This is more on personal questions. As I said in the last, I mean, as I said the last time, you know yourself. You better know yourself. Okay? So you better sell yourself during this interview. Now, what could be these personal questions? First, of course, your educational background. Okay? Um, this one, you have to relate the things that you're going to say to the job that you're applying for, all right? Especially your major courses that you've taken. Make sure you highlight how is it related to the position that you are applying for. Whatever questions they ask you about this part, make sure you relate it to the work that you are applying for. I hope that is clear. Another one is your work experience. So some of you maybe have already worked, maybe for quite a long time or for a short time. Well, anyway, it's okay to share it, of course. Now with this part, it's also okay to share something that are negative. Uh, what I mean is that um, this is also helpful to show or to say to your interviewer that you are learning. You learned something from it and it helped you to develop yourself professionally. All right, 
But when you're giving negative comments about your work experience, please make it short or little. One or two is okay. The next one is your extracurricular activities. This is also important, all right? Why is that? This is to show that you are flexible enough to get the job. You cannot only get the job, okay, just to do the job description, but also you are flexible to do other things. And the next one, family, of course. It's your background. So uh, this is simple. All you gotta do is to share your family if they ask you, but if they didn't ask you, then you better not say it, okay? So the first two is the discussion of background and education. I hope this part is also clear. Now, moving on is the determination of career goals. So you really like to get the job. Okay, so of course, you also need to show how you are determined to get this. So this will fall to this part. All right, you have to have an understanding of the direction you want to achieve. Ask yourself, what do you want? What position do you want? You have to know because your interviewer will ask you, you also have to put in mind your short-term goals and your long-term goals. Maybe some of your interviewer will ask you those plans that you have. So, make up your mind. Now, under this, you have to prepare for the job. How did you prepare for the job anyway? You highlight it, okay? Together with how you plan to do the job. Now, with this too, you are actually specifying or highlighting your strengths already, just like the previous videos, okay? But always remember, relate those strengths or these plans to the job that you are seeking for. Together with this is what future plans do you have to improve the job? It's okay to look forward on how are you going to improve yourself. But in this part, you also have to include how are you going to help? How are you going to improve the company? Of course, it's not only you, but how are you going to help the company to improve? I hope you get that. All right. The fourth stage is the determination of interest in the organization. How are you going to show that? Knowledge of organization. If you really want to be in that organization, if you really want to be one of them, then you have to do some research. You will not go there not knowing what organization is that. Am I correct? So you need to research about the organization. One more thing, preparation of questions. After an interview, it's also okay to ask questions. Now, this is how to show that you are interested to be one of them. Just make sure that your questions are okay. Later on, we're going to tell you or we're going to share to you what proper questions could be asked after, the, after an interview. Now, the next one is the conclusion. This is the fifth stage. How is this? The interview is already done, okay? You're about to stand. So, what would follow after the interview? Mm-hmm. So before you leave, okay, of course you have to ask this one properly to your interviewer. You can ask his email account. Why? This is actually good so that you can send a thankful letter to your interviewer for the time that he had spent with you in an interview. Before you leave, 
Don't forget to give a firm handshake to your interviewer and say thank you for his time. Okay? So guys, is it the end? No. By the time you step out in that room, you have to have this one. Review. What is this? Okay. Self-evaluation and assessment. You need to assess or evaluate yourself. What did you do in that room? Did you do good? Was it fine? Are there things that you need to improve? Okay. Those are the things that you have to consider. So try to review your performance in that interview. Who knows? You might be asked for another interview, right? Okay. So guys, that's the six stages of an interview. Hopefully, this video helped you again before you go in an interview. Okay, so this is Annie. I'll see you again in the next videos and also with Teacher Eric and Teacher Jane. Thank you so much. Bye!